I want to show you the difference between relative reference and absolute reference. So this is a particular boutique and a customer purchased these items. Their quantities listed and their unit price also. So we want to find the amount, the discount amount and the new price. Now with the amount, discount amount and the new price, I'll show you the difference between relative reference and absolute reference. Now, whenever I click on a particular cell, you can see the name of the cell at the top here. So when I click on this cell, you can see the name of that cell there. When I click on this also, you can see it there. To find the amount, this is what to do. Enter equal to, then you click on the quantity, then you enter multiplication. To get the multiplication, you use shift and eight, you get the multiplication. Then you click on the unit price, meaning the price of one Pakistan gym is 150 cities. And the customer purchased six of it so to know the amount it should be six times 150 that's the meaning so you click enter to get the total so click on this cell back and double click on this place to copy the formula to the other places now when i click on this cell let's go back to the previous cell now in this cell look at the name it is b7 times c7 now, when the formula was copied to other cells, let me click on the second cell for you to see. What can you see here? B8 times C8. When I click on this, B9 times C9. So, as you can see, it is changing from B7 to B8 to B9 to B10 going. And C also is changing. So, it is relative in that manner. Let's assume the boutique is giving 25% discount on every item purchased. Okay. Now, this is a discount rate, 0 0.25, which is 25%. Now, to know the discount amount, the discount amount should be the discount rate times the amount of each item. You get it. So, let's enter equals. So, let's click on the discount rate. Okay, then multiplication. Then we click on the amount. But for this particular one, we need to edit the discount rate and introduce the dollar sign to it. So, bring dollar before the B and dollar before the 3. The reason is that this discount rate applies to all the items. And failure to introduce the dollar sign to the discount rate will make only the first cell correct and the other cells wrong. So, let me click enter. Then, click on this again and double click to copy the formula to the other places. So, when I click on the second cell, what can you see? You see that the B3 remains there. It's only the D that has changed to D8. Look at the previous cell. It was D7, having B3. When I click on this, the B3 remains and then the D has changed to D8. When I click on the third one, you see that the D has changed to D9 and the B3 remains the same. This is because the discount rate applies to all the items. Introducing a dollar sign makes it absolute. And you use that when the rate you are referring to applies to all items. Now, let me do it without the dollar sign for you to see what will happen. So, let me clear this. And then, come here and then we edit this, remove the dollar sign. And the formula bar. So, I've removed it. Now, as you can see, the first one gave me the correct answer, right? Now, when I double click on this to copy the rest, you see that I've gotten wrong answers for the others. Why? Let me click on the second cell. What can you see? That is B4 times D7. Where is cell B4? This is cell B4. There is nothing at cell B4. So you are multiplying nothing by 3400. So if you are applying a particular constant rate to something, you need to introduce the dollar sign. So let me go back to the original one. So this is the correct thing. So to find a new price, enter equals then you click on the amount minus the discount amount so that will give you the new price that the customer is supposed to pay okay so you click enter so meaning for the six jeans the customer has to pay 675 cities when you click on the cell back and you double click at the down right corner it will copy the formula to the other places and this is also relative reference because when you click on the second cell you can see d8 minus d8 the first one was D7 minus E7. The third one is D9 minus E9. So you are basically saying that this amount minus this discount. 
this amount minus this discount this amount minus this discount since it is only one customer who has purchased all these items you can find a grand total so to know the grand total you can enter equals then you type sum then open parentheses then click on the first one left click and drag to the last then close the parentheses and click enter you get a grand total the customer is supposed to pay at the end of the day one important reasons you need to use formula and function is that when you edit something in maybe the quantity or the unit price it, the change will apply to all the others for instance maybe you didn't count the pakistan gym wall they were actually seven and you counted them as six and you later realize that it's actually seven so you can come to the cell here and edit it to seven now look at something look at the amount is 900 right the discount amount is 225 right let me edit it to seven then click enter what can you see the amount changes automatically and the discount amount also change and the new price change too and the grand total also change that is one important reason you should use functions and formula so let me take it back to six and click enter you can see that the change applies to all interesting right follow for more thank you